Hi everybody, Shadow Phoenix here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Planet Coaster here in my 2019 park, Silverwood. Uh, this is a park that's kind of based upon a Dollywood, Silver Dollar City kind of theme. Very rustic. Not western, just rustic. Uh, mountainous, I guess is you know one way you can say it. There goes our train right over top of our, our entryway here. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a brand new area that I've been working on for a couple of weeks now. Uh, you got a glimpse of it in the last video that we did, but uh, you didn't actually get to see a whole lot of it because I was kind of saving it until I was kind of just about done with it. And today is the day! So yeah, I literally just now kind of got done putting some finishing touches and stuff around the area. It's not completely done but it's close enough that I, I feel that it's actually worth showing off so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the right side of the park as soon as you come in side of the park here into the plaza uh, we're gonna pass by the theater we're gonna pass by the railroad station and we're gonna head over here towards uh, basically where Mustang is which is the roller coaster that we showed off the last time and we're gonna go over here. So one of the things I added here is the carousel, the grand carousel. I love this thing. I'm so happy we finally got a grand carousel into this game. Uh, it's something that I have been personally asking for for a very long time, and I know there was a lot of others who were on a crusade for it as well. And we did finally get it, and I love it. It, it looks so good. And I did a custom kind of cover here, uh, kind of to match the park a little bit. And I'm very happy with how that came out as well. But what we really want to do today is we want to head down into a new section of the park. This is going to be the family or kids section of the park, the county fair. Uh, more family oriented than, than kids. We don't really have any kids rides in the game, uh, but we do have some rides that are kid friendly. Uh, so that's where we're going to head in and I kind of wanted to add a, a lot of the kind of rides that were best for that. So one of the first things you're going to see as soon as you head into the county fair area is the Blue Ribbon Midway, which is this right here. Now for now, I went ahead and used uh, Rupal Trillion's Midway games that he has aw awesomely made. I mean, they're fantastic. Uh, I most likely will probably change these out uh, later on and kind of make my own. But these look great for now and they were a good thing to kind of start with and kind of uh, get an idea of what they're going to look like. So I went ahead and used those. So heading on over here, uh, I got a gazebo placed kind of in the center of this path. Mostly the gazebo is here to kind of uh, cover up some of the path options that I, I couldn't get the path to kind of work and I wanted something kind of here to break up the monotony of the plaza. So I went ahead and put that down there. And of course we have a scrambler over here, over to the left here. Just a very basic ride, but it looks fantastic here. Kind of a wooden picket fence around it. And the next thing we're going to head on over here into is this little area over here. We're going to go around the gazebo. Now, I also have some more games over here. Uh, we have Ski Ball. Uh, the Ski Ball machines were made by Fisherman. Uh, Fisherman, I've been chatting with Fisherman. Fisherman is totally going to come into the park and he's going to help us uh, do a little bit of construction here and there. Um, he is very interested in joining us for that. Uh, I also put the... Uh, the fortune teller guy in there. We got him in there as well. Um, I also have a coin pusher over here, which was made by one of the community members on the Steam Workshop, and I can't remember who it was that uh, that made it, but it looks really cool. It's very old-fashioned looking, and it totally fits the park. Also, I use uh, I put a couple of claw machines over here as well, and there were some claw machines that was on the workshop. Uh, one of the things about the claw machine is you can't just place them down willy-nilly. You really have to actually place them down and then connect them to a path, which means you can't put them like too close to each other. And I really wanted this to kind of fill this area up. So what I did was I found these claw machines on the workshop and went ahead and put these to cover them and then I put one in the middle. Uh, and ironically it actually works so if somebody comes up and they actually try to use the claw machines which for some odd reason they they don't they're not really in, too interested in the claw machines or the fortune teller and all that they they rarely come into this little area and I don't know why but they will come over here and they'll use it and it actually kind of shows it off to uh, it, it works along with the actual claw machine it so it's a good little cover for it 
I'm probably going to edit that down a little bit and kind of make it fit a little better, but for now, they look pretty good. Uh, up here, we have the giant swing, um, and uh, or the worst known as the wave swinger. Uh, sometimes there's a lot of people riding it, sometimes not. Obviously, we've caught it where there's just hardly nobody is wanting to ride it. And, but I really love this, and I put it up on a kind of a hill, kind of in the, the center of the area, and it looks fantastic, if I do say so myself. Over here is one of the little areas that I haven't actually finished completely just yet. It still needs to, to put some, uh, some railings up along the path and things here. But we have the Barnstormer. Barnstormer is a... Vacoma kind of um, type of family coaster, basically. Uh, I base it off of a Vacoma um, design, basically. I keep saying basically, but yeah, I mean, I, I base it off of a Vacoma family coaster blueprint and kind of went ahead and, and made it a little bit kind of on my own, but you know, I changed a couple things here and there and made, made it fit. But it's a very, very small family coaster, which fits the area perfectly. Uh, eventually you're gonna see some more trees and some other stuff back in the background there that kind of cover most everything in there. there. Uh, there's also the train that goes along the back side of that as well. So from there, we're gonna move on over here. Now one of the things I really love about this whole area is the views and stuff that you get. I mean, it looks fantastic. I I know I'm tooting my own horn, but I really love how this came out. And I've been working really, really hard on it to kind of get everything to kind of match up and, and to work well with me. So we are going to head over around this way. And I made this little lemonade stand over here. Uh, the Country Fair lemonade stand. And I went ahead and kind of did my own custom walls and stuff for it as well here uh, by using some of the four meter beams and then just kind of coloring them different colors and putting them in there and I think that came out pretty nice. I also made that little sign up at the top too using a couple of different things as well. And it came out quite well. Uh, it matches great over here with, uh, this is something that if you've been watching my Twitch stream, you'll know that this is completely different than anything I've done on my Twitch stream. This was literally added like last night. I went ahead and tore up all the path and, and moved some things around and that's why this video is kind of running a little bit late is because I just decided that I really wanted to put the teacups in here. And this is the best way I was able to find to use it. Um, pay no attention to the fact that the fencing doesn't go all the way around. I will fix that later on, but for now, I think this is looking pretty good. I love the colors of it too. The colors I'm basing off of Lemon Twist, I think. Yeah, Lemon Twist at Dollywood is the where the colors are based off of. And I think I'm going to call it Granny's um, tea, Teacup Twirl, I think. Granny's Teacup Twirl. I believe is what I've decided upon the name for it. Uh, the name of it will go right over top of its little station or queue area here. So, yeah. All right, so that does that. Now, let's take a look at the biggest ride in this particular area here as we go around this tree, and that's the Timber Racers. So, I had a fantastic idea from one of my community members on my Twitch stream to do a dueling log flume, and I was like, I've never seen a dueling log flume before. That could be an awesome idea. And I really wanted to do that. And I wanted to theme it to like, um, you know how, for example, uh, like log, uh, lumberjacks have like lumberjack games where they, you know, they kind of, it, it can be kind of a county fair thing if the fair area is held in a city where logging is like the biggest thing. Uh, in fact, ESPN2, I think, even does these sometimes where they will show them off. It's really neat because they actually do kind of, they're not always identical, which is kind of cool. And that works out quite well. Um, but they are a dueling log flume, and they should, most of the time, they should hit the, the tops up there at the exact same time. So, like that one there. I imagine you get really wet, because not only are you getting the, the water from where you're dropping in, but you're also being getting hit by the water from the other flume, so I imagine that could possibly get you soaked, which is, that's fine enough for me. But yeah, it's, I wanted to put it over here in the county fair section, because I like the idea of the lumberjack games, and these are like lumberjacks who have 
uh, figured out a way to race logs down through the flume and make a game out of it, and that is what everything here is based off of. Over there you can see the barn for Mustang in the background there. And I just kind of wanted to show off our signage and stuff here for this as well, which I really, really love. Um, again, uh, I'm tuning my own horn, but I think I did an excellent job on this. I really, really do. All right, so we're going to go ahead and head around this way. We're going to turn around and behind us here, uh, this is the Eagle Flyers or Swift Eagles. Uh, this doesn't have a name yet for the actual park. I'll come up with that later on. But yeah, it's the... Uh, the Swift Eagles is what they call it in the game, and I really love these things. These are some of my favorite rides. Flying Eagles, I think is what they're called at uh, uh, Kings Island, and that's where I first rode them. And they removed them from Kings Island for a while, but they are now back, and I'm so happy to see that they are actually back at Kings Island. All right, from there, we are going to go over here, and you can kind of see some background stuff going on up there on the hillside. Uh, I've been slowly putting trees and stuff up to kind of give this area a better look because when I did Mustang and when I showed off some of the other things before there wasn't a whole lot of trees up on the hill and you could kind of see a lot of like unfinished things up there and it just wasn't looking right so I decided to go ahead and put some trees and stuff up there too. Uh, we have the little bathrooms over here with its uh, water fountains and that works out perfectly right here because it's getting all the traffic from not only the county fair area but also anybody who gets off of Mustang or is in the Mustang area over there will also be able to come down here and use these bathrooms so that works perfectly and then we have the balloon ride one of my personal favorites in the game and I will almost always use this every single time I also just now noticed that I do not have a uh, an exit there for it huh okay I will have to fix that. Okay. Uh, heading on over here, here we have, you can kind of see Barnstormer, the teacups, and the lemonade stand over there. Um, looks like I'm going to have to move this tree a little bit around. I've been, like I said, I completely ripped up all the path and changed a lot of stuff over in here. And some of the things looks like I forgot to fix. But I will get to it. Uh, here we have a little, like, uh, dining area. For now, I have a Monjour Fritz in here. Uh, there's a Pip Shot water on that side and a Gopi Soda over on this side. The reason I have these sides right here with the windows down uh, is because the roofs that I used, uh, these little, they have little things that, I don't know why Frontier did it. it it's dumb, but they put the uh, these roofs, which are the perfect size to use, better than the actual ones that don't have these, but they have this, uh, this wooden structure that comes down off of it and it covers up the the shop and it just didn't look right so I decided to, to in order to fix that and make it look a little better I went ahead and put these windows on there so I think what I'm eventually going to try to do now with the theme makers toolkit and stuff uh, maybe possibly going to be fixed sometime in March with the new quality of life update that they announced uh, about a week ago uh, I am going to try to put my hand back in, dip a little bit into the theme makers uh, toolkit stuff and make some things and I'm going to try to make some roofs that uh, will fit better for things like this. Uh, we have the county fair sign again right here as this goes up there and then of course you can see construction fencing uh, that was shown off when I showed off Mustang and then we're back over here at the Midway Games. So that's going to do it. Uh, like I said it's it's a lot to show, it's a lot to take in, and I hope you guys really, really like this new area. Uh, it, it's been a lot of work to try to get this fixed up the way I wanted it, but everything has come out so nice, and it's, it's so nice. But I really, I'm really happy with the county fair section. Everything come out better than I could have actually imagined it. Um, when I first started working on it and trying to get the pass and everything down when I was working on Mustang over there, I just, I wasn't sure how it was going to look, but once we started working with it and getting everything kind of finished, it, it looks really, really good. And of course you can see it as you're walking towards Mustang. If you decide not to go down in the county fair section, you can also see this entire area just by walking along over here, heading towards Mustang and into the back of the park. Uh, you'll probably be able to get a good look at it too once I get the path and stuff up that way too. So, or maybe not. There'll probably be some buildings and stuff going on up through there that you won't be able to kind of 
kind of look that in there. But there might be spots or sections where you can kind of look over the hillside and see. But I, I'm very, very happy with this. Everything came out fantastic. And again, I do hope you guys agree and I really thank you for joining me today here in my newest Silverwood video as we explored all of my new area. Um, the county fair section is the family section of the park once again. And I, I, other than just saying I'm extremely happy with how it came out and I'm again just kind of taking another look at some of the views and stuff that we have in there. That's really all I have to showcase. Uh, we will do, I've still got a little more work to do on timber racers, so as soon as I finish up some more work on that, I will most likely try to do a POV of that, and I uh, hope you guys can't wait for that as well, and I will be back with another Planet Coaster video, probably some, maybe one, another one this week, and then of course we will also have one next weekend as well. Uh, it won't be a Silverwood video for the rest of the week but I do have some other videos and stuff that I kind of want to do for Planet Coaster. Um, I want to do another video for some possible uh, DLC uh, kind of just you know speculating basically on, on what could happen you know uh, obviously we don't know anything about DLC yet uh, we do know I mentioned it earlier we do know that there is going to be a update they're calling it a quality of life update, and it's really just going to be a big patch. Not really a quality of life update, because I do not think that word means what you think it means, Frontier. <laughs> um, so, I mean, unless I'm wrong from the sound of it, it's just going to be a really big patch. It's going to fix some things that we're, we're looking to try to get fixed in the game, so it's playable again. But it's not necessarily a quality of life update by definition of what most people have been asking for. So... It is what it is, but in the meantime, that's it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look here at the County Fair section of Silverwood, and I hope you guys will join me in some other videos this week. Um, until the next time, wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. What's up, everybody? Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and click on the bell to stay on top of all my new videos and live streaming events here on YouTube. I also want to give a huge shout out to all the names you see on the right for their support through donations, Patreon, and through Twitch subs. If you would like to join their ranks and you are able, you can do so by clicking on any of those links in the video description down below. No worries, though. If you don't like giving away money like that, you can still support the channel by purchasing games or anything through Green Man Gaming, through Humble Bundle, or through Amazon by clicking on my links and making your purchase. A little bit of that goes towards me to support the channel. If you still can't get enough of me, you can always check me out live on twitch.tv and stay up to date with me on Twitter as well. Now that's going to be it, but I can't say thank you enough for all your support here on the channel. Wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you later.